Owl here. In this short video, I'm just gonna talk you through some options for gallery plugins for WordPress. We're gonna start with this, the big, major, powerful NextGen Gallery, which as you can see has a massive five and a half million downloads. So it's hugely powerful, hugely popular. We're gonna have a look at DM albums, and we're gonna have a look at WP jQuery Lightbox, all of which have very respectable download figures themselves. So hopefully after this video, you'll have a better idea of which gallery plugin might suit your needs best. With NextGen Gallery, they give you several different methods of uploading images. You can do it one by one right here on the main page. You can upload a zip file, which is hugely handy because you often have folders of images ready on your hard drive, ready to go. So that's great and can save you a lot of time. And of course, you're able to do it via FTP, which is excellent. But you go into Options. In Options, this is where you really see the power of NextGen Gallery. In thumbnails, you can obviously set the size of the thumbnail. That's great. But by ticking or not ticking this box here, you can actually allow portraits or have them all uniform size. So again, gives you a lot of control. In image settings, you can actually change the image quality that they display at. This is huge because you're actually able to change the load speed of your page. And that, of course, is crucial for SEO and other attributes. In galleries, you can make it thumbnail or slideshow. Now, that seems a very simple choice, and it is. But thumbnails puts the control into your viewer's hands. They can choose to see the larger images or not. Slideshow, you're taking the control away from them somewhat. But this can be particularly useful if you need to show the images in a certain order. Order, you can change how they display. Now this is huge because certain gallery plugins only allow you to have them in the order you uploaded or the reverse order. So this gives you so many more options for actually ordering them around. This is an excellent benefit. Effects. Again, you can show all these different choices of how you actually want to display the thumbnail image. Under watermark, it's fantastic. You actually, as you can see here, that's my, that's the name of the little site I have here. Put it right in the corner. You can change position by simply just clicking there. And as you can see, it's moved over. You can put it anywhere you want in this. You can put it indented, whatever you want. And what's particularly strong about this watermark feature is they can upload or refer to a logo and change its opacity. So you can see if you want a block or you don't want it to block what's behind it, you can toggle with that as well. It's a fantastic level of control it gives you. With Slideshow, again, you're able to control the size of the images. Duration time, though, this is key. This is all about the amount of atmosphere you want to create. Do you want to be fast, exciting? Do you want to slow, relaxing? And, of course, the transition, a fade effect, is huge. Do you, again, do you want something very cool? Do you want something really snappy? It's all up to you. You have a huge amount of control here. Of course, change all the colors here. You can stretch images or make it the true image. You can squeeze to fit. Navigation with a huge array of controls on this. And this seems to be a huge factor with NextGen Gallery is that it puts you in more control than some of the others. Here at the NextGen Gallery homepage, you can start to get a feel for the benefit of having over 5 million users. There's a large amount of blogging activity where they update or give you tutorials and better information on how to use their gallery plugin that bit better. And if we have a look at the demos page, you can start to get a feel for how the plugin actually looks. Now, as you see here, if someone's reading your sidebar, the images can flick away and they'd be quite impressive. You can also still click on them and it moves them on, which is pretty excellent, but only in one direction. Down here is an example of the image list, if you want to list them this way. They're smaller thumbnails, but your user can then be exposed to all of the images at the same time, and then they have the power to click on which ones they want. And this is the light box as it appears. Now, as they said, there's always this little white border, but I suspect you can change that. There's always a close button with an X. You can always move to the next image by clicking on that side of the image back and forth. Note also that it always says the image number of how many. So 6 of 11 would mean that there's only a few more, so I'll keep going. Whereas if, it's, if it says 6 of 50, I might bow out because I'm not going to look through all 50 of them. Also, very interesting, they have a, a Pinterest pin it button. I wonder, can you get a Facebook button there as well? Interesting to see. But that's fantastic that they right there on the image itself, they've actually integrated social media buttons. So that's great for sharing if that's important to you, as well as putting a caption nicely and neatly under the image there. So that looks very well. You can also, your user isn't stuck looking at this. By one click, you can get out of it. So let's look at FAQs now and the idea of support. So here's just a small example of some of the benefits of having it. There's a huge amount, a huge FAQ section, some of the main issues that people come across and, and how to resolve them. For example, one of the big features is 
Uh, are they Flash based? And it says no, they're not in no longer Flash based in this J JavaScript and jQuery. And this is important if, if a lot of your customers are mobile users because many mobile devices won't show Flash anymore, particularly iPhones. So this is pretty huge if you're hoping to tap into a lot of the mobile market and want your images to reliably display. And just a quick look at the blog here, as you can see, they're pretty much blogging on a weekly basis, which is pretty excellent. So here's the back end of DM albums where they give you a sample of what their standard out of the box sort of setup looks like. And it looks pretty good. You can see the slideshow, the list of images down at the bottom here, so you can click on them and you can of course move through them like so. And as you saw from the screenshot, you can actually move this up above so that you, they can your viewers can choose from there or you can have it at the bottom i think at the bottom is a bit more natural for most people and again it shows you an example of how it looks with the caption which is a slight overlay in shadow so i'm sure there's a few things you can tweak on that so we click to show configuration options and down here you see some of the freedoms and choices that you have so you can display the tagline and imagine most wouldn't accrediting dm albums you can choose a full screen or not make it light box or not a lot of them are yes no options which which is pretty good, but with Next Gen Gallery, you have an awful lot more options. So the autoplay slideshow, navigation hints, again, this is for people who maybe aren't so familiar with the functions of this particular gallery plugin. Uh, transition effects, just, just two. DM Albums does it, the upload function in quite a different way to Next Gen Gallery and some of the others. They actually have the upload function right here on your WordPress editing page, which is a little bit different uh, and quite creative, I think. So here's the back end of WP jQuery Lightbox. Now in this plugin, there's a few of the standard options here, which is fine, but you really notice a difference in the how to use section because it's all about code. Now this is absolutely brilliant if you're very happy with playing with code on your site. If you're not, this plugin probably isn't for you. But if you are, it means that you can keep the code as simple as possible and not be overloading it. So it's particularly helpful if you have loads and loads of plugins already active. It can really simplify the function of having a gallery or light box display on your site. So let's have a look at what it actually looks like. Here's the gallery. Now these are just simple images they put in that when you click them, you see the effect. The standard gallery options of the arrows when you move to one side or the other. Note also title, more bold than next gen gallery option. And like next gen, it also image two of eight or five of seven or whatever. And the option to download and of course close. One of the things they're very proud of with WP jQuery Lightbox is that it's really efficient for mobile browsing. So this is huge if you have a large amount of customers or visitors to your site on mobile devices and you want to make sure it works very well. So it gives a very good example here with the HTC. It fills the screen, but it always has the little option of closing it so that the people don't feel they're locked into it. So in conclusion, if you want a very powerful gallery plugin that gives you a ton of options and puts you in control, Next Gen Gallery can't really be beaten. It's also very easy to use for beginners to WordPress. It's very intuitive. It's extremely powerful. There's a huge amount of support, so there's a lot going for it. Now, the drawbacks are that with so much complexity and power, it unfortunately I've heard from quite a few people who've been using it for a couple of years that it does occasionally crash and you have to uninstall it and reinstall it and that usually solves it. It's also when there's a fault, it's usually fixed very quickly. But if you have a lot of plugins on your website, you might want to go for something that bit more simple. Now, DM galleries, as you see, it just gives a different display. If you prefer that actual, the aesthetics of DM, then that could be the one for you. As you see, it's quite a different look to it. It's a smaller plugin, you have less options, but maybe you don't need the options and you'd rather the site be working that bit more than Next Gen Gallery. Now, the last option is simpler again. There's very little code in this. It's a very simple little plugin, and it's particularly strong with mobile devices, as you can see. I'd imagine the other two, to be fair, are, would be pretty damn good on mobile devices too, but this is that bit more simple again. But this is really for people who are very comfortable with playing with code. Okay, so generally for most people, I'd suggest Next Gen Gallery, but if you prefer the look of DM, albums then go for dm and if you prefer as simple as possible then wp jquery lightbox is probably the one for you but look there's dozens if not hundreds of very very good quality gallery and lightbox plugins for wordpress that would do you absolutely fine okay i hope you enjoyed that thanks a lot